Many of us got to enjoy a beautiful Black Friday sunset, but if you didn't, here's an example of one. It's a doozy out of Gulf Beach in Milford. Thanks again for sharing that with us, Bob and Izzy. Waterbury right now, as we take a look at the flag, it's still moving, probably too much for your liking. So it is creating a colder feel than 27 degrees. So the breeze is coming in from the northwest. 10 15 miles per hour with at times some higher gusts in the 15 to 25 mile per hour range. Chester coming in at 22 miles per hour. So that makes it feel like it's 28. To, actually, that's the actual air temperature. We'll get to the feels like in just a second. 25 is the actual air temperature towards Salisbury. Now let's take a look at what it feels like. 18. I was like, that makes more sense. 18 is how it feels in Chester. So first alert to bundle up if you have to take the pups out one more time. They need the sweater on as well. Well, the overnight lows, the actual air temperature will be getting down into the low to mid 20s. A few spots in the teens will have a clear sky overnight tonight. The breeze will eventually die down as we head into tomorrow morning. Let's take a look at the day ahead. Maybe you have plans to get out there, find the Christmas tree you desire. We have 20s initially. By 10 o'clock, we're warming into the 30s, low 30s, and topping off at about 40 degrees. So it's about 10 degrees, if not more, below average. And the cloud cover will thicken up a little bit as we go through the afternoon and evening. But starting the day with sunshine down towards the shoreline, 20s for you as well, and a high near 40 degrees. So all in all, a cool start to the weekend. So if you plan on decorating, the advice is, you know, just bundle up. So you'll just need that, but at least the wind, well, that's usually what is the worst. The wind makes it feel so much colder. You can deal with the still conditions in 40s. But if you want to hold off until Sunday to do that, well, you'll have milder temperatures to enjoy. Clouds will be on the increase ahead of our next big thing. We're still trying to nail down the timing of this system. Some of the models coming in a little faster, so that may be some good news going into Monday morning. But we do have that rain breaking out for uh, Sunday night, heavy at times during the pre-dawn hours. And this particular model takes it out of here by the time, you know, you head out maybe to work. So hopefully that trend continues. Certainly going to be a breezy day on Monday the rest of the day with a passing shower possible. So a first alert right now for Monday morning, there could be rainy and breezy conditions still, and it could impact the commute. Hopefully, you know, this thing will continue to pick up speed and will be out of here before the main commute. So the temperature is actually going to be warming up Sunday into Monday. And then here comes another blast of cold air. It is going to be blustery on Tuesday. There could even be a few flurries that the clouds squeeze out. Highs only in the 30s. Very chilly overnights in the 20s and teens. And uh, highs only in the 30s again for Wednesday. We start that climb upwards, but uh, not a huge jump. But mind you, the normal high for this time of year is uh, 48 degrees. And we'll be certainly enjoying the milder temperatures down towards the shoreline Sunday and Monday. But everyone's going to be dealing with the chill, certainly by Tuesday and Wednesday. And certainly we have Lauren coming in in the morning. She'll be talking about all those chilly temperatures. So definitely uh, watch her. Brian. All right. Thank you.